The scan quantity field found on the invoice entry screen is both powerful and flexible. Once you've mastered the capabilities of this field, you will be able to quickly enter and update items on an invoice transaction. The scan quantity field enables you to do primarily three operations. Enter new items onto the transaction, update items already on the transaction, or locate a customer. To add new items to the transaction, simply scan the barcodes from the tags in your store. The items are quickly added to the transaction. Now if an item doesn't have a tag on it and never was tracked in inventory, you can enter a miscellaneous item easily by entering an asterisk and the price. In this case I will enter 1550, press the enter key, and a miscellaneous item for $15.50 was entered. Now I can also update items that I've already scanned on this transaction. If, I, if you notice you can use the arrow keys to move up or down and the cursor remains in the scan quantity field. This allows you to select a particular item like the second one on the transaction and perform different actions. The first action that I'm going to go over is how to discount an item off the retail price. If I enter a value between .00 and .99 it will discount the highlighted items price off retail so I will enter .10 and press the enter key and the item was discounted 10 percent. I can also update the quantity that the customer will be purchasing by entering a value between 1 and 99 or negative 1 to negative 99. In this case I will enter 2, press the enter key and the quantity was updated. For quantities greater than 99 simply enter Q and the quantity If I would like to enter a fixed price for the item rather than a discount off retail, simply enter a price or a value greater than a dollar with a decimal place. So in this case, I want to enter the price at $20. Press enter and the price is updated to $20. Now I also have the option of updating the status of a particular item on the invoice. If you notice in the left hand column of the screen there is a type field. A P stands for purchase. R and pressing R and enter updates the status return. to a return. Pressing R again sets it to a return to vendor. A return to vendor does not update, does not put the item back into inventory. A return and pressing R again return. says that we're going to put this item back in inventory. If I would like to make this item a special order item, simply enter S and press enter. Now the item is a special order item. If work is required for this item, I mean I have monogramming or other work to perform on it, W and enter sets work required for it. If I would like to drop ship this item and create a purchase order just for this item for this customer, I enter DS and press enter and the item is set to drop ship. If I would like to put this item back to a purchase, I simply enter P, press enter, and it's now set back to a purchase. I'm also going to put the quantity back to just one. If I would like to update notes about this item, highlight the item, press the F6 key, and you're able to quickly type in notes for this particular item. Pressing OK saves the information and the asterisk next to the item in the item column tells me that there are notes for the item. Now I can also toggle the taxable status of an item. If you look in the tax field, it's currently set to yes. That means the item's taxable. Pressing T and enter sets the item to non-taxable. Pressing T again resets it to taxable. There are other taxable options you can set. There are three tax options available if you have multiple tax rates. And TA tax turns on tax A, TB, tax B on. and TC 
all toggle individual taxing rates. The scan quantity field can also be used to locate a customer. You can type in a phone number, either with or without the area code. Now the dash is required. That is the signal with a seven or ten digit number and dashes that we are trying to locate a customer by phone number. In this case, it could not locate a customer with that phone number. And it places us on the customer list in last name order. Now I can also type in three or more characters to try to locate a customer by last name. In this case, there was only one customer with the matching last name, so it pulled that customer directly into the invoice. If there had been more than one customer, it would have placed me on the customer list and allowed me to select the customer on the customer list. These are the features of the scan quantity field. The hotkey and quick entry actions can also be located on the back of the quick start guide or they're found in the online help system.